Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson, we're gonna be starting the naming process. Okay, so a big part of organic chemistry is how to name the molecules. Up till now, I'm sure you guys have become very familiar with the different types of molecules that we can get. You guys have developed a bit of chemistry, no pun intended, and now we're gonna start the actual naming process. Now this is big marks in the exams. You can get, get, get some really good marks just by knowing how to name these molecules. The most important thing that we're gonna have to learn and start memorizing is the following table. Guys, this table is gonna be your friend. So, what we're gonna do, and obviously it's gonna become more clear as we go along, but when you look at the specific molecule that you are given, you're going to count the number of carbons in the main chain, okay? So what I mean by the main chain is the following. If I give you a molecule that has carbon, 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 and then there's a carbon over here, and then the rest is just hydrogen, then the main chain has three carbons. You could go this way. A main chain is how far can the chain go without you having to lift your pen, okay? So for example, you can't go up here and then start doing uh, reversing and then going back down here because then you're going over the same place twice. So it's got to be a continuous chain. So you could go that way, so you could go straight, or you could curve to the side. But the point is, is that no matter how you do it, you're always going to end up with three carbons. So then straight away we would go to our table and we would know that our name of our molecule is going to have something with a prop in it, okay? So it could be something like propane or propanoic acid or propanol. Now that will all become clearer later on which one we're going to choose, but these 10 things are the most important things that you need to memorize. Now some of you watching this are like, oh my word, how am I going to remember this? Guys, I promise you it is so easy. You become, you'll become so used to this. I know at first it looks weird. Uh, take my advice, you're typically not going to use number 9 and 10, but just make sure that you know them anyways. And I just saw something when I was busy writing this earlier, that those last three years almost like the months of the year, October, November, December. So that's pretty cool. So that part is now taken care of. So guys, take a mental picture of this, write it down, stick it on your cupboard at home, whatever you need to do, you need to know this table. Trust me, okay? They're not gonna give this to you in the exams. Okay, so now that we know that table, which I'm gonna leave on the screen, the next important thing we're gonna have to know is the following. You need to be able to identify the type of molecule it is, and we've, we've become experts at that. You and I, we have spent the last I don't know how many lessons discovering that. So we know that this one over here is an alkene. Now that is not correct. So I hope you are paying attention. Guys, this is an alkane. And so if your teacher asks you what this is, you can't say, oh, it's just an alkane. Well, I mean, that's the homologous series. So that's like the family. But what is the specific name of this one? Well, this one has one, two, three, four, five carbons in the main chain. So we go to our little table. And so we say, ah, pent, okay, uh, this is pentane. You see, so that's how it's going to work. Now, that is the exact name. So if you had to go on Google and type in pentane, it's going to give you a five-carbon molecule. Whereas if you just typed in alkane, it could give you a whole lot of different types of alkanes. Some of them would have one carbon, four carbons. But pentane is a specific thing. Now, that's pretty cool. And then if I give you a molecule like this, then we can see that it's an alkane because it's just got the double bond, but then it's got two carbons in the main chain, and so then this one would be called ethane. So you see the alkanes are the easiest to name. You literally just have to add ane at the end, and then you just choose one of these from the table depending on how many carbons there are in the main chain. Things are gonna get a bit more interesting when we start adding molecules like alcohols, alkenes, or we start adding alkanes that have branches. But if you are just fine with where we are right now, then that's what's important, okay? You can, we just, we're busy progressing in small steps and eventually you'll have the whole picture. So if you wanna keep your progress progressing, <laughs> then your homework is to make sure you know this table because in the next videos, I'm not gonna keep bringing up the table. Well, I probably will for the next one or two videos, but your goal, is to, you also have to do your part. So you need to be making sure that you know this table, okay? It'll take you like 15 minutes, I promise you. You just write it over and over and over on an exam pad or whatever you want and then try it again on a new piece of paper. And I promise you, eventually you'll have it. So I'll see you guys in the next video where we're gonna take the naming process a little bit further.